We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, faithful acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is, is a snack from Late July Snacks. I've never had anything from them. We have bacon habanero. Looks like tortilla chips. And so there's a taco truck inspired chip apparently. They also have nacho chipotle, which sounds better. And jalapeno lime. Taco love! But guys, this uh, Fundamentals of Heat is essentially a spicy food series and chipotle almost never really qualifies for that. So let's take a look at the ingredient panel here. Okay guys, and we've got habanero pepper powder. There's also bacon habanero seasoning. All right, let's crack these babies open and see what they're all about. Uh oh, I don't have a good bag to do that with, so I guess I'll we'll just tear the top. And we'll do it, we'll get it ripped the way I want it ripped. Okay, and they look like normal chips. Let's have one, let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Not really much to look at here, guys. You don't see a heavy amount of spice on there or anything, so let's, uh, let's try it out. So first thing I'm getting is bacon. I'm also getting something that seems to me a lot like liquid smoke. I don't see if any of that in here, yeah. Natural smoke flavor. I'm not getting bacon. I'm not getting habanero. I'm getting almost like a smoke. Try to find some with more seasoning on them. There's no no real heat to speak of here. Honestly, not really even bacon either. It just tastes like... Almost like fake wood smoke chips. But, uh... I would actually say it leans a little bit towards hickory. I'm gonna need a few more of these. See if I can get some of the delayed habanero burn. This is what I call a really soft burn. Um. What I mean by that is it's a soft, slow, gentle, very minor burn. It's enough to let you know there's a presence. That's it. Just a, enough to let you know that it's there. Not much outside of that. Flavor-wise... These would work well, I think, with pulled pork nachos. They are not good by themselves, but I think if you put them into like pulled pork nachos, something along that, maybe chili cheese nachos, I think you'd have something. I think just regular plain nacho cheese and jalapenos, which I would say is the way I have them probably 90% of the time. I don't know if they'd be good in that setting, but 
Th these are kind of in a weird middle ground where they're, there's a hole in this one, where they're not, they're not, they're not bad. They're just not anything I would ever seek out. And they were in kind of the specialty section of the store. What does that mean? It means this is an expensive bag of chips. It's vegan, it's kosher, no high fructose corn syrup or any of that, no peanuts in the facility, it's gluten free. It's got all of that stuff going for it. It just doesn't have a great flavor. So I think these are okay. For these costing twice as much as like regular tortilla chips, I don't know that this is anything I would ever be getting again, even if I did buy regular tortilla chips, but who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll get some pulled pork and have pulled pork nachos with one of the hot sauces in the reviews or something like that. I don't think the bag's gonna last that long, but that might be something I do if I have something that actually lends itself well to that. So, but anyway guys, there it is. Look at the late July snacks, bacon habanero chips. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.